And we're here with Mauro Ranallo. How you doing, Mauro? Hey, doing very well. The Garb, uh, finally nice to meet you in person. Yeah, it was great meeting you, and I've uh, been a big fan of yours. Going Appreciate way back, it. we were talking about Japan. You missed Japan? Oh, no doubt about it. 31 times in three years. Uh, Pride Fighting Championships. Really, uh, no other organization like it on Earth. Uh, larger than life, production value, some of the greatest fighters in the world at the time. But uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship has definitely uh, done a, a great thing now, recently celebrating uh, in name only UFC 100, which I thought was a, a very newsworthy event. And of course, we're here in the Big Apple, New York, uh, hoping to get the closer to being legalized here in uh, Empire State. That's right, and now, now you're the voice of uh, Strike Force, and uh, there's a big fight coming up between Gina Carano and Cyborg. Yeah, that's one of the reasons we're also here in New York today, the biggest city in America, promoting the biggest fight in female mixed martial arts history, the uh, female face of the sport, the undefeated Gina Carano, will clash with the very tough Brazilian by the name of Christian Cyborg Santos. It's a fight that has been uh, a long time coming, and really it will make history for a variety of reasons. Uh, not only will it be the first ever Strike Force Women's Championship at 145 pounds, contested over five five-minute rounds, but it will headline the card. And uh, that is saying something, uh, just how popular the sport of female mixed martial arts is becoming. And really, Gina Carano, who is a huge uh, crossover uh, sensation. She's been in Maxim Magazine. She was a crush on American Gladiators. Uh, but don't let her looks fool you. She is a fighter through and through, uh, the first American female to win a Muay Thai championship in the uh, mecca of Muay Thai, Thailand. And uh, she's going to have her work cut out for her, though, come Saturday, August 15th. Uh, the first time ever on a major show, four world title fights. And she'll be anchoring it as she vies for the vacant women's 145 pound title against Cyborg. You know, a lot, a lot of people, well, some people said, you know, that she shouldn't be headlining the card. I mean, but this is a this is a, a women's match that people, fans have been waiting for for a long time. Well, you know, the proof is in the proverbial pudding when Elite XC was on CBS for three shows. Gina Carano was the major draw. Every time her fight was on, she would attract upwards of over one million viewers to CBS. So she definitely has deserved this opportunity to headline a card. Not everyone is happy, like you say, including some of the fighters. In fact, uh, Josh Thompson, who will be defending the Strike Force lightweight title against Gilbert Melendez in a rematch. I know they're not too happy about being upstage, so to speak, but really up and down the card, it's going to be the biggest night in Strike Force history. Another tremendous night for mixed martial arts fans. And of course, they can see it live on Showtime Saturday, August 15th from the HP Pavilion in San Jose. And also that night, of course, Moro will be uh, giving his golden voice uh, <laughs> on the announcement team and along with Frank Shamrock and, and Gus Johnson right yeah it's uh, really been a pleasure to work with uh, Gus of course the the voice of March Madness as it were and uh, one of the best sportscasters in America working for CBS and now for Showtime and what more can be said about Frank Shamrock he is the legend and has uh, definitely uh, found a, a niche as a, an analyst as well so really looking forward to what should be a very easy night of fights to call uh, never before done in a major organization like I mentioned not in pride not in UFC but Strike Force will be uh, having four, four world title fights. That's five five-man rounds. Could be a long night, yep. but hopefully it's going to be an exciting one. Well, it's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. No and I'll see you inside, Mark. All right, the Garf. Thank you very much. Mark Reynaldo, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Okay.